For unknown solid, we are going to find the melting point. We are going to use these small capillary tubes in order to add a little bit of solid in the bottom to determine when it melts or not. We're going to see the column shrink and it's going to turn from uh, opaque to translucent so we can see through it. The first thing we need to do though is crush our solid so that we can get it into that little tube. There's lots of different ways to do this. We can use a mortar and pestle or we can use two watch glasses to crush it into smaller pieces. Once we get it into smaller pieces, we can use our little capillary tube to run through those smaller pieces and tap them down into the capillary tube. If the, more, if the watch glasses don't work, sometimes if you use the bottom of a test tube, that will help to crush it into smaller pieces. And if that doesn't work either, we can always go to a mortar and pestle to crush our solid. And we can use the open end of our capillary tube to catch a few of those smaller pieces and we tap them down into the bottom to fill our capillary tube. takes a little bit of time, but eventually you can fill up the capillary tube to a level that allows you to see it in your melting point setup. We're going to use the melting point in, in, to determine the identity of our unknown solid. We're now going to set up our melting point apparatus. We take that tube that we've put our unknown solid in, a small rubber band, to attach that little capillary tube right next to our thermometer. And then we can lower our thermometer down into the water and wait for our unknown to melt. Our unknown in the liquid while well, we're waiting for the water to heat up for it to melt. So this is what it looks like when it is still a solid. As it gets closer to melting, you're going to see the volume decrease and it's going to start looking more transparent. So we're getting closer to the melting point. You can see how the solid shrinks down. You can see air bubbles within it and it has become clear. You'll be provided pictures of the thermometer so that you can read your melting point.